Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Bernard Tobin here on the Corn School, joined today by Aaron Stefanis, Pride uh, Market Agronomist. Hey, always hey. good to see you. Thanks it's always for good. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about corn agronomics, corn yep. seed. Um, the concept I heard a lot this winter at meetings, flex hybrids versus fixed hybrids. Yep. And uh, I guess it's a new concept for a lot of people. Just want to sort of talk about the uh, the approach, the mm -hmm. philosophy. So let's start there. Okay. What's, what's the difference between a a fixed or a determinant hybrid yep. and a flexed hybrid. All right, let's start. So that's, that's essentially the base. When you move into all this uh, precision ag stuff and, and uh, doing management zones, this is where that base of uh, hybrid selection is pretty important. So if we start with a determinant ear uh, or a fixed ear, that's essentially a cob. You could put it at 20,000 plants per acre. You could put it up to 40,000 plants per acre, and you're still going to get that same cod. It'll be a stout cob. It won't be very long. Uh, usually has really deep kernels, and it'll be, let's say, 16, 18 around by, say, 32, 34. It stays consistent no matter where you do it, or no matter what population you put it at. Then we move to a fixed, a flex ear, sorry. So a flex ear, just like the name, it flexes out. So we're going to get either flex around, so it'll maybe say you have a, a range from 16 kernels around to 20, 22. Um, it'll flex girthy, so you're getting more kernels this way. Uh, or it can flex long. So you can have a consistent amount of kernels, let's say 16 around, and then flex up to 40. So sometimes, uh, you know, you're at the uh, edge of the, uh, the corn row and you see that one corn cob sticking out that's mm -hmm. the size of your arm, probably a flex ear because it's taking advantage of that extra sunlight and moisture and lack of competition and flexing out. So then there's the other, there's the hybrid of the two, which the is semi a semi-flex. Semi -flex. Yep. So that one is, is a 32.5. So if you're setting your planter at 32.5 and that's your consistent uh, planting, that's the one that's just perfect for you. It, the profitability, um, we have some graphs uh, from Pride ourselves that where you're looking at the profitability of population. And it seems to be those semi-flex at 32,500 is your best profitability. It just literally comes up and peaks and uh, that's where you want to be. And so that allows you, allows you a little bit room to flex, but then can handle a little bit higher populations um, up to that 32.5. Now let's talk about management considerations. Now, you know, you're talking to a lot of customers, agronom agronomists like you are talking to growers. Um, talk about, I guess, the management considerations or where you would put, for example, a fixed or determinant air. Yeah, perfect. So if we're looking at that high yield environment, like we're looking right beside the barn, high fertility, good moisture holding capacity, I want to push that population. So that is where a fixed year would come in. You're going to load it up with fertility, which you have, or you add to it, and now you're going to push that population up to anywhere from, let's say, 36 to 38. There is some people trying 40. I still don't know if we have the, the recommendations for that to really on the profitability side and spending extra on seed, but for sure, 36 to 38,000 is where you want to be on a fixed year. Where do I put the flex? The flex, so that's one maybe you got some, uh, if you're at a static population and you're looking at like say you have a lot of sandy areas where you want to drop your population, that's really where a flex year comes in. You can go all the way down to 20,000 and it'll still flex out and, and make a difference. It's like the old hybrids that we had. Our old hybrids were flex ears. Um, you know, we were planting at 20 to 24,000 and they would flex up and make up for it. So that's where you'd put a flex ear. Semi-flex. Semi-flex, is that just your standard ground? Uh, you're, you're just gonna plant 32.5, it's probably your average ground and uh, you can maximize your yield potential there. Mm. Now, the real future of this thing yep. is right here, right? You betcha. Vari variable rate. Yep. Talk about, um, I guess, how these you know, three approaches are gonna you know, come together in the future with, with something, with something like, this. like that. Okay, perfect. That's a good question. So I really think when you're looking at this whole fi uh, fixed or determinant, flex or semi-flex, it's really important when you're, when you're making your scripts. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to push that population up to 38, even 40, just to see if it's sustainable in your field, um, you're going to want a fixed ear. Nice. Um, but if you're not going to do that, if you're going to be like, you know, say coming back to say, well, I got this sandy knoll and I want it to be at 20,000, but on the average in the good part of the field, I want it at say like 32,000, that's where you'd probably put a flex ear. Um, the semi-flex ear is probably more for that. You're not going to have a lot of variation. You're maybe going to go in your sandy noils down to 30 and your good area is up to like 32, 5, 33. So not a lot of variability. That's where your semi-flexes come in. Right. And with, uh, you know, two seeds. Yep. So this is what we got right here and behind us is a multi-hybrid. So we have one seed box here. You can see the divide, one seed box here. 
there's a meter on both sides. So what we're going to be doing is switching two hybrids back and forth. So if, for example, if you got a management zone that's sandy knolls, uh, you would put a flex ear in this hopper. So that's going to drop a flex ear at say 28,000, 26,000, reduce the stress on that plant. But if we get a lot of moisture, it'll still flex out and take advantage of that, that uh, extra area and, and uh, lower um, uh, competition. And then in your high productive, high fertility areas, your fixed ear or determinant ear goes in this hopper and you're pushing it to 36, 38,000 and giving it the sky's the limit. So really, these are just starting to come out. Um, we're going to start, this is my own planner and we're going to do a bunch of trials with it this year. But this is, I think, the future on profitability. Awesome.